back. We're about to get trashed, but it's not what you think. Wow. Yeah. I haven't done that in years. <laughs> okay. We're talking about trash as year. in garbage cans and what to do with it. And with recycling and curbside pickup, there are so many different types of trash cans that need, you yeah. need and that are available these days. Handy Andy Amrine of EV True Value Hardware is here to show us the many types that are available for all your various trash needs. Hey Andy. So who I thought that we could do a segment on trash cans? Who who knew? But it I mean is. now look at all look at this variety here. It's, it's smart it. though. I mean it really I does. could live in this one. Yeah, so, that I mean, one's pretty big. Look how big that is. So these three ones you really wanted to focus yeah. on because right. th these kind of like uh, focus on every need that you could the have. Three biggest purposes yeah. of it. Uh, we're really big on recycling now. So the one right there right. that you're holding, that's a perfect recycling can for having in the house, in the basement, in the kitchen. Right. It's nice. It's it's compact. It's the blue color. It uh, really is perfect to it, kind of wedge in somewhere. Yeah, right, in between a fridge and a countertop or anything right. like that. So it's a perfect type of recycling one. But Probably, you're especially fond of this I one. I like this one, John. And the reason I like this one, this one's a, uh, a heavy. This is a totter can is the technical name for it. But if you look at it, you could see, you know, pick it up, feel it. You could see yeah, that it does it's a feel very, solid. very, very heavy. It is. Plastic. So when you have your your typical Rubbermaid type of cans and so forth, but this they're just... they're a lot lighter, oh, they're gosh. a lot thinner. Yep. It does and, look thin. You know they they'll wear out. I mean, especially yep. when you're driving the driveway and the bottoms are just going to plain and simple wear out. So whether you have a blue one recycling or the brown ones or something, this one, this one's not going to wear out. Yeah, it's just thicker and, and denser. It's denser, you can tell. Thicker, that, heavier, and you and love better that built. the lid is and attached. And you don't lose the lid. The biggest thing I get all the time, can you just sell me a lid? They always lose their lid. Right, well or, with the wind, the garbage the wind, guys come and they just start, you know, toss, toss it, the can and then you lose your lid. Right. And even if you have one of the curbside pickups where the machine picks the can up, this one has the grip bar on it that it would pick it up flip oh, it, it does, and it? dumps it in without ever dumping the It's the called a totter. It. I've never it's heard of it. So can you actually buy an extra lid if you need one? Uh, yes. You, okay. you can. Because <laughs> okay. we, we actually we have a lot of people that buy cans without lids, so landscapers, have... contractors, and they say just throw them out. So we just keep them in when people want extra lids. We just then you if have we it. have them we give them. But the the other issue that a lot of people have with garbage cans is Ooh, critters. Look at this is they locks have down. Raccoons and so forth with it. So and a lot of people just put a brick on top or have a bungee right. cord on top or anything like that. Well, Rubbermaid came out with a critter proof garbage can. Yep. And animal stopper. An animal stopper. And these just have heavy rubber expandable bars on it, a double lock with the handles going down and the lid that can be removed nice and simple on it. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice, simple, it's a good gauge type one. But yeah, it's with not it, as thick and heavy duty as this it, one. No, no by, no, by no means is it. But, but it would be very simple. It serves a different purpose. To and lock I can... the can and to be able to put there that the critters aren't going to be able to get into your garbage on it. Here yeah. on this side you have some metal tins. Metal is, there tins. Any, is there any kind of benefit to having one of these? These are so old school. Well, but they're the best there is. You can do this. Okay, we knew that's, he had to do something. We knew he, that's he just twice had to. Today. It's going. You, you can't it. do that with plastic. <laughs> no, no, you can't do that with that. I mean, I've tried. Bird seed. This we sell a lot of metal cans for storing seed in it. So whether it's bird seed, grass seed, or anything, this way the mice, rats, critters aren't going to get into it so because not just for it's, your trash. it's dry. Right. It's really some. You can use some still for trash, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people buy those mainly for bird seed to keep the mice and so forth from chewing through the plastic to get into it. Now but these I mean, can there's, still there's all sizes of trash cans. They, they can all be knocked over, right? Yes, absolutely. I mean, this, this is going to be the hardest can to actually try and knock so over and because it has a heavy weighted base and it's a lot sturdier for it. Well, and if this one gets knocked over, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter because it's just locked. It's all around the lid and everything is locked on it. I do have a question, not so much about uh, the actual can itself, mm -hmm. but I know a lot of people have this problem. We have it in the dead of summer when you're throwing your trash out and you have three or four days. Next thing you know, your trash can's full of maggots. What do okay. you do to clean them out? Just a hose? Is there anything? Specifically, you would recommend that, that, that's really all you do. If you get yeah. the maggots and you know bugs and so forth in there, it's just a matter of hosing out. If you want to spray it first with like a home pest control or something to to kill them, but generally just you know hosing it out and is being done with it. Is there any I way mean, to prevent it in the first place? Having a clean can, you know, yeah. try if you clean your can once a month or something, hosing it out and spraying it with you know 
putting a little bleach in or putting Bactronics in it or something so like that in it. Clean. If you keep it clean, you're not going to get the, the bugs and the insects in oh. the can itself. How about so. if you put the, the, the old food, which I would assume the rotted food is what attracts them, put that in the disposal instead? You can, or a yeah. compost. Yeah, you that's true. You want to be with Doug Oster, we'll just make a compost bin, then you'll never have it. Good All right. point. Thanks, Andy. Andy Ambrine, EV True Value Hardware in Bethel Park, regular PTL contributor. Thanks, buddy. Yep.